Encanto is utterly spellbinding. I cannot believe how much I absolutely adored this film. In fact, this may be the most I've loved a Disney release this century, certainly in the last decade. It's beautiful. This was, of course, released this year, directed by Jared Bush and Byron Howard, and stars the fabulous Stephanie Beatrice as our protagonist, Mirabelle. And to be honest, when I started watching this, I wasn't 100% sure of the narrative. I knew kind of roughly what it was about, this family with their own magic. But it's actually about Mirabelle, who's the only member of her family who does not have a special gift. Everybody in the family, when they come of age, they are given a special gift. One, you know, somebody is exceptionally strong, somebody is very elegant. Mirabelle has no gift, no magical gift. Um, she is a very wonderful person, but she has no gift bestowed onto her. And then the film kind of starts with introducing us to this, and we have this amazing song, The Family Madrigal, which I just absolutely loved and thought was beautiful. I'm hoping somebody has uploaded it to YouTube so I can listen to it in isolation because it's just so gorgeous and a really brilliant introduction and a fantastic way of introducing us to all of the characters in the family without just pointing them out and saying their name. It's it's really great. And you know, the vocal talents of Stephanie Beatrice are just ridiculous. You know, she's absolutely incredible. Everything seems to be fine. But then Mirabel notices that there's something wrong with the house and the match within it. And the casita is at risk of breaking down and of course when this happens the magic the gifts that each member of the family have been given are at risk of becoming weaker or vanishing altogether nobody will listen to her so she has to take it upon herself to try and save the casita and try and save her family i'm not going to say how she does that but i really thoroughly enjoyed it i feel like it took you know it didn't just launch straight into this problem with the casita and the magic and the gifts it gave us enough time to get to know the family to get to feel mirabelle's emotions because she is an outcast even though her family are all you know we love you you're unique in your own way of course she feels different of course she feels like an outcast we get enough time to establish those emotions and to realize what kind of person she is she's a very loving caring considerate person and of course when she sees that the casita is in trouble and she kind of blames herself in some ways and the film explains this she obviously then steps up and makes the mission to fix the problem it's very funny and very self-aware because there is one point where she says to herself there's only one thing to do and that is to fix the miracle and the miracle of course being the gifts given to the family um and then she just says to herself how do i fix a miracle just making it very obvious that a lot of films, Disney and otherwise, have very impossible missions that the protagonist just seems to set about doing. But Mirabelle's very aware that fixing a broken miracle may not be the easiest task. I just thought she was fantastic. The dialogue in this is absolutely beautiful. It's it's beautifully written. Screenplay is by Sharice Castro Smith and Jared Bush. And it's just utterly stunning. It is visually gorgeous the animation is sensational the characters are brilliant particularly mirabelle as a protagonist i absolutely love her i loved her the second we saw her there was just something about her that just clicked with me obviously stephanie beatrice is flawless and her voice acting is absolutely incredible the songs are sensational my second favorite I think The Family Marigal is definitely my favourite, but the second is We Don't Talk About Bruno, which I just, I really liked. But across the board, there's some beautiful, beautiful songs in this. Um, the songs are written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, so you can't really expect anything less, to be perfectly honest. The, the development of the narrative, the pacing, as I said, is spot on. It doesn't take too long to get to the action but it also doesn't launch straight into it. We get enough time to enjoy the bright colours and the fun aspect of it, and then it gets a little bit more serious. But even when it's serious, because of Mirabelle's kind of... I, I don't want to say quirky attitude, but her her personality just means that when she's muttering to herself or is faced with a dangerous situation, there's almost a sarcastic 
nature in her response, and it's just so funny. Is there a fault? Can I find a fault? No, I can't. Um, no, I absolutely can't. It's absolutely stunning. I hope it's been well received. I've certainly seen a few positive reviews, but I haven't, um, prior to watching it, I made a point of not of not trying to actually seek out any reviews because I didn't want anything spoiled. It's fabulous. It's on Disney Plus. It's now free on Disney Plus. It's not one that you have to pay extra for to stream. It's sensational. It's exquisite. If you love Disney, I honestly think that Encanto is going to be one of your new favourites. Might be might be my favourite film of twenty twenty one. I'm not a hundred percent sure of that. Certainly Encanto is a strong contender. Stephanie Beatrice is amazing. The film itself is beautiful. I can't find anything wrong with it.